Yo guys, what's up? So I just entered this trade right now, pretty much. After I saw rejection to the top side on the 55 EMA, I just noticed it. So I just entered it right now with a position size of about $90,000. So let's talk about this possible count of hours that we see, okay? So we see that, that ANC has absolutely made a fifth wave ready. One, two, three, four, and a five wave. Okay, no doubt about it. We see that it retraced all the way back up to the golden ratio. Golden ratio hit right up there, as you've noticed. And as it hit it, it just completely rejected. So now it's forming some sort of descending type of triangle that I'm trying to capitalize on. I think it's going to be a great opportunity for a nice trade when it broke below this 55 VMA. I saw it reject here. I think it's going to close right near the low here. I'm going for a close of 209. That seems to be the average of all of here and just to be more of a conservative target. Of course, it can break below. So let's go over ANC here and talk about, first of all, how Bitcoin, okay, Bitcoin ended up dropping around this this time. It dropped around, around 415. So if you take a look at ANC yesterday, actually, what time was that at? Yeah, around 4.15. If you take a look at ANC, it dropped around the same time here as well, right? 4.15, it took a major drop of 10%. But the thing about ANC is it was only on the third wave. So we see five waves counted here. This is the first, A, B, C to make the second. And the third wave was really clear too right here, okay? We saw the one, two, three, four, five. And the four came down, okay? But because Bitcoin ended up dropping heavily to the downside, Right, we all thought that ANC was gonna come back down as well, but ANC ended up going to the going to excuse me, I'm going to here retrace down there. I think it retraced around the golden ratio, yeah, golden ratio, and it popped to the upside hard. Okay, so because it popped to the upside there, okay, uh, we're getting a small retracement up now, down two hundred dollars. It's probably gonna go up a little bit higher. I really don't want it to make another touch up there. That'd be very annoying if it did actually. Like up there to 217 ranges. I don't want that for sure. Because I'm in a big position. So now you see that it bounced back up. It broke above the high of the third wave. And it actually started a fifth wave. Because it started a fifth wave there. Despite BTC just smashing downwards and stalling. ANC finishes five waves. And that's how I was able to capitalize a lot on this today. I, was, I caught the top today. I literally caught the top. I literally closed it at around 209 there. Perfect profit that it bounced. That's how I made that $3,000 this morning. And then a few more $600 trades here and there. And this is now the third trade that I'm taking. So we see it hit the golden ratio at the top, right? And then it falls down. And it looks like it's forming some sort of descending triangle now where there's a high probability of it smashing to the downside. If we take the overall Fibonacci retracement of the entire thing, what we're seeing is that it only retraced to the 236 Fibonacci region so far. Because of that, we can assume that it's most likely going to catch up to a lot of these other coins that have dropped already. So if it does drop, it's going to catch up to, for example, Waves, to Zill. All of these coins ended up just reaching catastrophe after doing the five wave. Catastrophe, right? Look at Zill. Catastrophe. Can't see. Catastrophe, right? just drops to off of the face of the planet here. So we're seeing a lot of coins right now fall extremely hard. And because of this, what you can expect from ANC as well is probably after a gigantic rally of 44%, it's probably gonna fall down as well, just a matter of time. I like to minimize my risk in the market and I like to trade small bounces. These small bounces of mine, it allows me to profit on small waves and minimizes my risk and exposure in the market. Guys, I have an awesome sale going on right now just for today. That's it. I'm going to do it till midnight Central Standard Time. So there's still time to get this. This is a package for for people that are still getting into the market and wanting something very affordable. What you're gonna get with this sale, it's 57% off. It's normally 875, 
you're going to pay 375 by crypto or credit card. It's up to you. You're going to get six months of trading with me in the Discord group. It's not a signals group, but I definitely call out my positions. I educate the group and the goal is to gain knowledge so you can become a self-sufficient trader. And you're going to get six months in the group with me. You're going to get my second edition book that's going to be mailed out to you at the end of uh, near 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 may or so that's where it's going to be mailed out to you and the book is gorgeous so this is the book it's plated in a type of gold material super high quality hard cover textbook definitely a great book to add to your trading repertoire seven years of experience guys that's a lot of time and a few million dollars later i think you guys can trust me <laughs> saying that in the in the you know coolest chill kind of way and you're also going to get 12 lessons that's included for my course version 2.0. They're completely updated. They're highly expanded. There's 53 lessons total. You're going to get access to 12 of them, which are the essentials to get into trading. So sign up today, guys. It's going to be expired by midnight today. So that's about a few hours to go. You got a lot of time to sign up still. So let's do this, guys. Let's try to, let's try to catch this trade here. So right now, what I'm confused about is this. Okay, so this originally made a count like that one two three four and the five was the biggest one the third was almost smaller than the first wave so that really confused me okay because i originally thought that this was an abc going up and then as soon as it broke a higher high than this than the c i'm like what the heck and then i realized it might actually be an abcde let me go over with you the mechanics of an abcde so A, B, C, D, E can come in the shape of an ascending triangle, a descending triangle. It can also make a wedge, right? A wedge like that as well, or a flag even, okay? So then the structures in A, B, C, D, E is there's only threes. Sorry, my bad there. I didn't mean to do that. There's only threes, okay? It doesn't subdivide into five. We have to remember that. It only makes threes, okay? Three, just something like that. You know, I'm just giving you an example. Like that. Like that. Okay? Just so you guys get the point by now. So now, what I'm assuming about A and C is that it's actually making threes instead of fives. Okay? So I'm counting it wrong. So I believe that this made a one, two, three. Or sorry, this made a th down here. Okay? A. So this made a one, two, three. Like it goes... I I'll subdivide it for you in a second. Okay? So that, that makes, of course, the A, B, C, that's three, right? Then there's three in the little b, and then the one A, B, C for the C. And then it makes another A, B, C up here, okay? And I think it's going to make another A, B, whatever, C here. But the point of that is it makes a bigger A, B, C, D, E. And this is a basically a type of correction that occurs when there's threes, okay? So I'm expecting, like, there's many ways that this can happen, but, you know, I'm, I'm expecting perhaps a channel, because we did reject there already. Like it can easily happen and overlap if there's threes, right? It can do something like this perhaps, okay? That's one possibility. Another possibility is it actually forms a descending triangle, but actually never breaks down. Makes the A, B, C, D, E, and then we're so bullish that it ends up actually just going to the upside, okay? Boom, it goes to the upside. That can happen. You gotta be very careful with those, okay? It can even make, who knows, maybe a small little freaking one like that. But this is not likely to make a to make a, a symmetric triangle like this. This is not likely because A needs to drop down way further in order to make a symmetric triangle like that. So right now I'm in a very good position right now. Okay, so I'm in the position like this. Literally just completely broken even right now. And leverage is about times seven. And the only reason I've got my leverage this high is because I just don't like to keep money on the exchange. That's all. So we're seeing it drop pretty nicely to the downside, getting rejection. On the five minute chart, you see this wedging, right? You see that kind of supporting, supporting with some bear traps, bear traps. If it breaks down below here, we're golden. Just got a matter of, it's a matter of waiting. So I'm really debating right now on literally taking my, my loss of $400 and entering if it hits up there. But you never know if it's going to hit up there. So maybe it's not the best decision. All right. So it broke this trend line of mine right here. Okay. So I'm now in profit a little bit. <laughs> or, you know, it might not have broken, right? You might, you might consider like that, for example. But in my opinion here, the way that it's looking is I told the group to enter a short position here. Right. So pretty much right around there. 
it went back up. It retreats back up to the 55 EMA, but it came right back down. So I think that this is making the B for the next few waves coming down here. Like I'm talking, remember how I mentioned earlier, like this is probably making the A, B, C to here at least. So I'm going to ride this out and see how this goes today. Nice. It's starting to make its way down. I'm going to be in profit very soon. And this is going to be a pretty nice 2% profit. $1,600 is probably coming up right away, guys. Really good trade to have taken. But you know what? Maybe, just maybe, a huge drop will come to the downside. And I don't even need to take my, my profit early. But I want to end my... I want to take this profit anyways. That's what I want to do. I think it's just about to smash 209 and we're probably gonna get a good $1,600 profit on this trade here. Let's go We're starting to see it really smash to the downside. It's gonna hit it for sure. Just a few seconds coming up definitely gonna hit it here Okay, so we entered another trade with the group where I mentioned if it broke that 55 VMA, I would go for a scalp position. And we're almost about to close my position, but it just doesn't have enough of that downward force. I'm up about $1,000 right now. It needs to come down just another 0.85% here, and I'm going to be a very happy man. Up a very significant amount today. We got the 5 Elliott wave count here already in for A and C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Looks like it just wants to smash to the downside here, but it might form this descending type of triangle. So I'm gonna close it pretty much right where this is over here. It's definitely gonna inch its way towards there soon. And I think we'll be able to close this very nicely. Lots of pressure now moving to the downside. I see this momentum just huge right now. I'm taking my profit probably a little bit prematurely in my opinion. But you know what? I'm going to guarantee these profits, especially if I'm up already a good uh, $3,600. This is going to bring me up to $5,000 profit here today. And it's just a matter of being patient. Very patient. It's going to close. I know it's going to close. Just got to chill and just got to wait. And it's just how, the, how this game works. If you close early, you're going to end up uh, sacrificing a lot of profits. So you can't really do that. The momentum is absolutely to the downside here. You can just see the bears pushing right now, pushing hard. I don't think we're going to get a bounce here though. Maybe, maybe a small one, but nothing significant. Almost at the closing price here. We're just about to make our way down. This tick right here, this candle is nasty. The price action is nasty. It's pushing down hard right now. Almost done closing. Still feeling the pressure, man. Come on. There we go. These are some ugly candles. There we go. That's a good push coming down here. Bearish pressure. Let's go. And it poked some of mine. Oh, yeah. It closed mo almost all of it. Actually, no. Just a few left here. Fuck. Oh, sweet. It filled up a large majority. You see that? Filled up 4,400. So I'm going to close the rest here. And let's check out the profit that I made. Bam, guys. Boom, guys. I took in 1,600 from that. Up 4.6K today. Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? So I grew $3,000 into, welcome back by the way, it's a second trade coming up. So I grew $3,000 to $17,000 in three days. Literally $14,000 profit from a $3,000 account. So I took out $7,000. So I've only got 10K in here and I plan to leverage this account again to really, really grow it quickly. So I decided to enter another trade just now, literally. And the reason I entered it is because on a higher time frame here, like see a 30 minute chart, what you're seeing is this is the support. Okay, you're seeing it very clearly. This right here is the support where the yellow line is at the top. I think that we're finally gonna break down this descending triangle. And if we break to the downside, we're gonna get a pretty big drop, I think, in my opinion. I do not think that we are going to get a rally to the top side here. I think it's much more likely to drop Considering we're only at the 236 Fibonacci retracement, if this goes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, I really doubt that it's going to, you know, like on a bigger picture, I really doubt on the first wave that it's going to be that parabolic and it literally just goes boom. Because that's what would happen. That's what would fucking happen. <laughs> you know, like if we ended up bullishly correcting and this descending triangle didn't actually come through or it, it actually came through. So it's more likely to drop to the downside than have a 
massive bull rally, especially if Bitcoin dropped. So I'm going to expect the drop here to like at least the golden ratio, honestly. Like I'm going to expect the drop to down over here. But I'm not going to probably hold my position for that long. Down to over here, that'd be realistic. Another thing I want to point out is that if it does break down here, realistically, we're probably going to get a bounce because of here, here, and here. So we're going to get just a small little drop, first of all, of like 2%, which I might take profit on, depending on the force of it, and then go from there. But realistically, we'll probably end up hitting the 45 EMA because it bounced at the 45, 55, the 45 minute, 55 EMA right there and right there. So chances are, it's probably going to just hit it. So I might take my profit around 203, 205, where, like 203, probably 202, wherever the 55 EMA meets it. So this is going to be another profitable trade, in my opinion. And we drop to the downside here. Nice. I'm in an 80K position. So I'm just going to cap my profit, man. I don't care about further drop. I'm honestly more than good. Maybe like one more penny down just to get another $400 here. Just would be great. Sweet. Another trade, guys, that I nailed with the group here. I'm going to take my profit here for basically $1,900. It's just coming up here. Called in the group very hard. Here's another $2,000 of profit there. Oh my God, that was so nice, man. I called this in the group so hard. Again, I'm up $6,500 trading KNC today or ANC today. <laughs> what a great trade, guys. What a great trade. It's pretty much just look at it. There's not much else to say, right? There's a descending triangle and it broke down. So of course I'm going to scalp it. Fuck yeah, boop.